Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blunder. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello! Before we get started today, I wanted to mention that I've got a new course that was just released the other day on using Blender in Second Life. You can uh, get to it from either my website or to this page on cartoonsmart.com under Blender. And in it, you learn how to create uh, clothing for Second Life and also uh, it learned the workflow for using projection painting. Uh, in it, I take uh, four different photographs of, of genes and use those as different sources, and you get an idea of the workflow of how to use these different sources uh, all to create one UV map. And there's other stuff in there, too. <laughs> so today, what we're going to do is what? We're going to do... Wait. Wait, let's show them. <laughs> we're Text gonna... in real time! <laughs> That's right. So we're going to show you how to do this in Blender for the game engine. So we'll pop open just default version. Oh, you know what? Since we're using 2.5, and we're not using the, the, the plain 2.2 alpha, 2.2, uh, what did I say? <laughs> 2.5 alpha. The version we're currently working with right now is 2.52.5 R28926. I will prefer 2.5. Yeah, well, the thing is, it's since it's alpha there's a lot of bugs so we grabbed a more current copy and with the game engine it seemed like there was too many so open the default scene hit X to delete the uh, default cube I'm gonna go ahead and hit 7 on the number pad to look down and then I'm gonna do shift A to add a plane you know what we need to do first it's very important let me back up a second. To do text in Blender, it has to be an image. And it has to be an image with the text in a certain orientation. And the easiest way to do that is to, to get text from an actual font. Well, it turns out there's a little application out there called FT Blender. So if you just do a search on FT Blender, uh, you'll be able to get that exe. And then it's a command line tool. So I'm going to do Windows R to run the command prompt. And I happen to have, I downloaded this application uh, to my desktop. FT Blender. And I'm going to hit H so I can see what I can do with this uh, tool. So FT Blender has these options. We're going to use the option down here on the bottom to specify the TGA file that we want it to generate. Now, we also need to tell it some other stuff. Some of it's optional, but one of the things you got to tell it is the font. So if you look up on the command line, FT Blender, we have some options that are optional. Uh, then we have to type PPEM. Then we give it the name of the font. Now, to make my life easy, I just copied the font to the same location as where FT Blender is. Right. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to give it the full path to find it. So, what we do is FT Blender, and we want the output option. I'm going to call it comic.tga. Then I'm going to tell it how big I want it to render it, and I'm going to do a square. The default's 256 by 256, but I want a little higher res, so I'm going to double that. So I'll say 512 by 512. And then I'm going to tell it R for the size of the, the font, then PPEM, and then the name of the font, which is comic.ttf. 
It's got to be either true type font or postscript font. Then when I hit enter, the window pops up. And it's pretty cool. Right here, you can hit F2 and it'll save this out. So I hit F2, it just saved it out. You can hit F1, you've got a bunch of controls that you can do. So like, for example, up and down arrow, if you want the fonts, if you decide you want it bigger or larger. When you're done, you just close it out after you've saved it. We'll go ahead and exit here. And you can see on your desktop, if that's where you're running from, we were running from our desktop, there's our TGA file. And here is the true type font that I was accessing. So now, let's pop open Blender. Let's get rid of this cube. I'm going to look down from the top. Create a plane. And let's bring in that image. Oh, actually, here. You want the UV editor? Now we've got our, our image in here. Richard's really quiet right now. <laughs> so the uh, important thing is I'm going to switch to the Blender game engine. Turn on textured. I'm tab into it. And then I'm going to unwrap it. Type U to unwrap. So now you can see it looks like it's upside down. So I'm going to hit R to rotate. And I'm going to rotate this all the way around. Hold the control key to snap. I'm going to scale it down. Let's scale it further. Oh. What we want to do is we want to draw it around this ampersand. And you can play with it more to get it more exact. I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but you can adjust the width and height depending on the, the font. So now, now that we're here, let's scroll down here. Oop. Switch over to the mesh. Now scroll we down scroll here. down. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need collision. We'll turn on text. I can say, go ahead and use alpha. And then, then what? Then we do the logic bricks, right? That's right. So let's go ahead, go over here to game logic. Oops, mouse wheeling a little bit, we can see better. We need to add a uh, property. That property has to be named text with a cap T. Go ahead and make that a string. We're going to say hello world. <laughs> and then switch to this texture. So you see, boom, we have text on there, right? Right. So there you go, you got text in Blender. Mm -hmm. But now, what if you want it to be text that can change on the fly? That would be cool. Well, that's where we need the logic bricks. So let's go ahead and add a logic brick, a keyboard sensor for all keys. And what we're going to do is we're going to say the target for this is text. I'm going to add another property. We'll call it log. I'm going to say log underscore toggle. And I'm going to make that a Boolean. And I'm going to set it to true. Selected here. So what have we got? We're going to say we're going to be this event, any key event, we're going to see should we log it? Set to true. So yeah, we're going to log it. Where are we going to log it? We're going to log it in this property. Oh, that's smart. And then let's uh, hit play. Hello world. Hitting the delete key. Text in Blender in real time. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>